If you're a designer working on your portfolio or planning to work on your portfolio, you've probably asked yourself, should I build it in Framer, Webflow, or Figma sites? And honestly, they can all help you make a really good looking portfolio, but they each come with their own trade-offs. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about those trade-offs, share some real portfolio examples, and give you my personal recommendation. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which platform makes the most sense for you to build your portfolio on. Let's start with Figma Sites, the newest player in this space. At the time of this recording, it's still in beta and it's only available on paid plans. In my opinion, a lot of us saw this coming. It made perfect sense for Figma to add a publish button to their app. You're already spending so much time designing in Figma, so why not be able to publish directly to the web? I haven't fully used Figma sites yet. I don't have a bunch of experience with it, but from what I've seen and played around with it so far, it's super easy to use. There's pretty much no learning curve. You design and build the same way that you already do in Figma hit publish and your site's live. That said, there are a bunch of limitations at the moment. For example, they don't have any CMS capabilities, password protection or plugins, and their code output is not the best. It's a little div happy to say the least. I'd say overall Figma sites isn't quite there yet, but I think they can catch up soon. Again, it's still in beta, but if they improve in some of the areas I mentioned previously, I think eventually there'll be a strong option for any designer looking to launch a polished portfolio fast. All right, let's take a look at a couple portfolios that have been built with Figma sites. This first one is from Anna Bolio. I think it's a good example of what's possible in Figma sites right now. It has this really friendly professional vibe with a clean, simple layout. I love the bright, playful colors she's using here. And there are some really nice, fun hover interactions built into this portfolio as well. You'll also notice that she was able to add videos to help showcase her work. There's also some nice text animations in here as well that make the site feel a little bit more alive. Her personality definitely comes through in the design. Again, it's a pretty simple portfolio. But I'd say that overall, it feels polished and well put together, especially considering the current limitations of Figma sites. This next one is a portfolio template from the Figma team. It's very minimal. They've added some simple scroll effects for the projects here. You'll also notice that the avatar in the header rotates as you scroll down the page. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Again, Figma Sites is still in beta, so functionality is going to be a bit limited at the moment. The next tool we're gonna to look at is Framer. It's become one of my go-to tools lately. If you're used to tools like Figma, then the interface in Framer will feel very familiar. When I first started using Framer a few years ago, I hardly needed any tutorials because the interface is so intuitive and easy to pick up. You work on a freeform canvas similar to Figma. Framer also recently launched design pages, which basically means you can skip Figma altogether and do everything in Framer. So no more messy imports or having to rebuild layouts that you previously designed in another tool. This is a game changer for me because it saves time and lets me explore multiple design variations all in one place without having to bounce between multiple tools. All right, let's take a look at a couple portfolios that have been built with Framer. This first portfolio is from Sebastian. It's a great example of what you can do with Framer. I really like the bold, brutalist design paired with the Swiss layout, but I'm also a fan of the scroll animations. This is something you could do very easily with Framer. As you start scrolling, you immediately get immersed in his beautiful collection of work. You can also grab the images and start moving stuff around, which is also pretty fun to play with. And here's an example of a portfolio template I designed with Framer. It has a minimalist layout that makes the site feel modern. You'll also notice a video showcasing some work above the fold, which is a great way to grab someone's attention when they land on your site. As you scroll, there's a subtle scale effect on the video frame. Then we move into the featured work section where there's a sticky scroll interaction that highlights each project as you scroll through the page. When you click on a project, there's a fun page effect that transitions smoothly to the project page to make things feel more visually dynamic. 
I'll leave a link to this frame portfolio template in the description below if you want to check it out. Now let's talk about Webflow. It's an incredible tool, but it's also the one with the steepest learning curve. When I first tried using Webflow a few years ago to rebuild my portfolio, I'll be honest, I felt overwhelmed. You sort of have to think like a developer to use the tool effectively. You need to have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS concepts like Flexbox, margin, divs, and classes. It takes a little while to get used to the interface, but once you get the hang of it, you can build some beautiful high performance sites that look and feel completely custom, almost like it came from a legit developer. So if you're the type of designer that wants that level of control or wants to add those fancy heavy animations that you see on sites like awards, then definitely consider Webflow. It's one of the best tools out there. All right, let's take a look at a couple of portfolio sites built with Webflow. This first one is Altur. It's a Webflow portfolio template. As I start scrolling here, one of the first things you'll notice is this carousel of brands. Beneath that, I like the 3D transform effect used for showing work. It's like a card flipping up. Those project cards could have easily been stacked as basic sections, but I like how they took a more creative approach there. It makes the site feel more dynamic and engaging. The last thing I want to mention about this template is the masked video showreel. It's a really cool effect because as you scroll, the video scales up until it takes up the full screen, which makes playing the video a little more enticing. And the last side I want to share with you is Talcule. The hero layout is pretty simple, but this designer adds a unique touch with a custom cursor that highlights their work. As you move the cursor, the featured project image dynamically changes. Scrolling down the page brings you to their collection of work. I like how they're breaking the traditional grid. It creates an interesting layout to showcase their work. When you hover over a project, you get a little preview of the work, which is really nice. One other interesting detail I wanted to highlight is what happens when you click on a project. It takes you to a project page that scrolls horizontally. And as you move through it, you'll notice a subtle scroll velocity skew effect that adds a nice sense of momentum, which makes navigating through the work feel more engaging. All right, let's talk about my personal recommendation. If you're looking for the fastest, most designer friendly way to build your portfolio right now, the tool I'd recommend is Framer. It's easy to use, especially if you're already using apps like Figma. Plus, it has the best balance of everything you need to launch a polished portfolio. Webflow is great. It gives you more control, but it's also more complex and you need to have a general understanding of HTML and CSS concepts. Figma sites, on the other hand, it's exciting. It's new, but it's also a bit premature at the moment, but it's definitely one that I'll be keeping my eye on for the future. And if you enjoyed this video, I wanted to also remind you about my framework template, Lo-Fi. It's designed to help product UI UX designers just like you build a portfolio that stands out and cuts through the noise.